let's talk about some fine in-cab dining. When I delivered the other day up to Wisconsin, in the gas station were these right here, these Stony Ridge spicy snack sticks. Basically, it's like beef jerky. These are delicious. But I also found something I had never found before. And it makes sense when you're in Wisconsin to pick up cheese curds. These are garlic dill, Stony Ridge, cheese cellar, cheese curds. I'm telling you what, <clears throat> let me show you one of these things. I was amazed. I should have taken you into the store and shown you the selection they had of these things. But that's what it looks like. And this is garlic dill. I'm in love with cheese curds. I'm gonna have to get me another Wisconsin load just to keep cheese curds in the truck. They are absolutely delicious. I know some of you are from Wisconsin. Do you eat cheese curds? They're delicious. Oh, in addition, spicy snack sticks, these are good. And I like the cheese curds. Mm, it's so nice to be unloaded. But right now, cherries are in season. And uh, Walmart had these beautiful cherries. And these are the rainier cherries. Mmm. Y'all, fruit is so good on the road. Delicious. Mm. I feel a little sophisticated. I'm eating a fruit, cheese, and meat tray. Fine in cab dining. Y'all, be blessed and know that I love you. I'll see you down the road. Oh, I'm sorry for showing you my bathroom kit. I'm gonna show you this. This is Cremo Beard Wool. And it is the bourbon blend. My son bought me this for Christmas many years ago. One handed, let's see. I guess this was two years ago. And it is a, um, a striking Viking. This is a wooden beard comb. So, while I'm on the road, I pamper myself a little bit. So, uh, this stuff is just really, really nice. It's, uh, it smells like the barbershop back in the day. You know, when we were kids, we used to go get our hair cut at the barbershop. And it sort of, it had this smell. You also got tired of it. But I'm happy. It's, uh, <laughs> We're getting ready. You're not here to watch me comb my beard with beard oil, are you? You got other things you, let me show you what's up. This is uh, our truck truck lounge that we've got here in Wakarusa. And I'll give you a tour through this sometime. We're getting, we're gonna go do other stuff today. There is our load, let's go look at it. I still hadn't gotten a name for the truck yet. I'm hoping to, but I washed her yesterday. She's all cleaned up and ready to go out west. And uh, that's the unit we're gonna be pulling this morning. We're gonna be pulling this to uh, Burlington, Washington, which is in the northwest corner, on nearly on the Canadian border. It is a huge unit. This unit is uh, 38 feet. 10,000 pounds, and uh, that's what we're going, uh, 2,200 miles to uh, Burlington, Washington. And uh, y'all, we're gonna be on the journey together as we head out there. I was talking to this guy this morning, he's pulling those out west as well. 
His truck's just a little bigger than mine, but what do y'all think? I'm really surprised that these things pull so easily with uh, this glass in the door. But there we go. So uh, we're headed to Washington, Washington State, northwest corner, up north of Seattle. Uh, I'm too dumb, too inexperienced to be scared. Nah, there's nothing to be scared of. We're just gonna slow and low. You know, that is the tempo. We're gonna be safe. And uh, y'all know this guy right here? That guy right there. You know who that is, right? That's slow momentum. We're gonna, I'm gonna be following them out. And uh, they're going to Idaho. And then after we get close to Idaho, then I'm gonna run up and finish my load out. I'm gonna try to get back down to uh, the yard in Pendleton and see if there's anything we can do. That's Miss uh, Miss BJ and uh, KT, slow momentum. We're gonna ride out together for a little while. He can show me the ropes out west when we get to Idaho, then I'll, I'll cut up and cut up, cut up, cut up. Excited, y'all. Let's go to Washington together. We'll have a good time. I'm not sure why McDonald's makes their coffee so stinking hot. You can't even drink it for 30 minutes. Anyway, that's not what this is about. Breakfast. Gonna eat a little McDonald's. I know I shouldn't. I know I should uh, eat out of my ice chest, but my running buddy stopped. And I decided I'm going to go ahead and eat some nasty, fried, delicious McDonald's. And um, just try and relax a little bit and enjoy some life. Um, we got a long way to go. We're just getting started. And we ain't off to the races just yet. But it's coming. Anyway, I'll be back. Okay, YouTube, we're back. Uh, we stopped right here for just a minute. We're getting ready to do a meetup with a fellow YouTuber, Mr. Aaron Jemerson. And uh, we're waiting on him to show up. Let me show you just the difference between what they do with the new guy and what they do with the experienced folk. Because I think you're gonna be amazed at the difference in the size of the trailers that they have given us to deliver. Let me just show you. So that up front, this is Slow Momentum's ride, and you can see his little trailer. And that's my ride. And uh, <clears throat> that's the trailer that I'm pulling. Uh, that's a 38 foot hideout. Um, if you're in the market for a trailer, and this is on your list to check out, I'll tell you this. This is one of the best pulling trailers that I have pulled so far. Um, and I pulled a, a, a different 38 footer, but this trailer pulls really nice. And uh, you can see just how much bigger my trailer is than theirs. Theirs are like little half size trailers compared to this this hideout that I'm pulling. Anyway, that's, uh, that's an update from the road and uh, what we're getting ready to do. I thought I would just bring that to your attention and uh, Hang in there. We're getting ready to uh, get back on the road and I'll stop somewhere else and give you a shout. Yeah, yeah. we got to get a little content. Aaron Jamerson right Woo! here. What's up? You know his channel. Best yeah. channel in the, in the truck and work camping business and slow momentum. You know slow, right? whatever. But if you don't have Aaron's channel, you need to go check him out. That's we've, right. We've had a great meet up here and uh, we're headed back on the road. We got to get moving. Oh, yeah. Aaron built this for, Aaron Jamerson built this for Woo. KT and BJ, and uh, you can see he even spelled it right. That's amazing. Yeah. Well done. That's a beautiful piece of art yes, right there. It sure is. Thank you very much, brother. Yeah. Uh -huh. Looks KT here. finally spelled somebody he's taller yeah. than. Yeah. Look at here. Hey, get away. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but guess what? Traveling with the banisters right here. His name is Keith yeah. also. Yeah. Oh, y'all are both Keith. Yeah. yeah. We're both That's short. awesome. <laughs> right. Oh. Um, these are 
circus people, not carnies. Don't make the mistake of calling them carnies. <laughs> this lady nearly killed me when, when we were talking, and I said, hey, there, you guys are carnies. Uh, uh, bad, bad, bad thing. Don't do that. But super interesting people that you want to meet traveling down the banisters. Go check out their channel. Awesome, awesome family, y'all. Good to meet them on the road as well. Good to, good to see you. Grand Island, Iowa. Um, had a good day yesterday. Um, it's not without its road events, but we got here safely and uh, had a good day. Today we're headed uh, through the winds of Wyoming and uh, just having a good old day, having a good old time, you know, enjoying a little driving. Getting ready to roll this morning and uh, excited about the day. Um, every day's a new adventure and um, the bed in the truck is getting more and more like home. It's getting more and more, you know, when my head hits it, it's not long. Good night. <laughs> it's good though. Uh, it's not easy. This life is not easy, but it's good. It's, um, I don't know, I guess when things decide when, you know, you're riding along, you'll know when things get bad, but uh, I don't have much else to share with you. I mean, it's fellowship of the road, seeing new things, meeting new people. We did meet a guy last night in the truck stop. I don't even know what we called him, Jim Bob. Jim Bob had on like a cut off sleeve t-shirt with Trump on the back and he had on an Air Force hat and sunglasses and he was telling us about Sturgis that clothing was optional and how he test drove a motorcycle 170,000 miles an hour or whatever. I don't know. This dude was interesting. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Y'all have a good rest of your day. Thanks for stopping in and checking on me. Um, be blessed and know that I love you.